Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alina Shortsova. I'm an immigration attorney from Brooklyn, New York. And in today's live Facebook presentation, I would like to talk about uh, new uh, rules regarding work permits uh, for asylum seekers. So our today's topic will be new rules, updates on the rules. I would like to provide some clarifications about new rules for um, work permits, seekers, uh, those who have pending asylum. Um, hi guys, thank you for joining. So the reason why I would like to provide this update is because I had a video before where <clears throat> I talked before about um, the fact that uh, USAS published um, new rules that are going to go into effect on August 25 um, 2020 and here i would like to clarify which parts of the rules are going to go into effect when as you may be aware <clears throat> usas is proposing rules uh, to change the way asylum seekers receive work permits and this new regulations as i stated will go into effect on august 25 2020 and part of those regulations are going to affect even those people who already filed for asylum. So this is very important. Parts of these new rules will affect people with pending asylum claims, those who are uh, or those who already filed for asylum, and those who will be renewing their work permits. So it's very important to understand as to what's going on. Uh, so let's talk about it one by one. Basically, as you may be aware, the rules are changing drastically the way uh, the qualifications for uh, an asylum seeker for work permit. Right now, we have that um, an asylum seeker who files their application for asylum has to wait for 150 days before he or she can submit for work permit and the work permit has to be adjudicated within 30 days, but no earlier than 180 days pass from the time asylum seeker filed for their, for, uh, filed for their um, asylum. So basically, this rule is very relevant for those who are in affirmative asylum process, those who are not in court or those who are in court but experiencing great delays. Basically, right now, within six months after filing, if they did not cause any delays, they did not cause any delays, their asylum clock is ticking and they are qualified to receive work permits. And work permits come, of course, with opportunity to get social security number. And currently, you can file one application to get both if you never had a social security number. And of course, you can get a, a form of ID you know, or state ID that allows you to travel, that allows you to drive a car, driver's license. So it's very important to have that, right? Sometimes you file this work permits also for children, even though they're not intending to work, you file for them because then they receive social security. And in the United States, the social security number is necessary when you're trying to do anything, basically go to uh, kindergarten, uh, daycare for kids, everything. You always need social security number. You file your taxes. Right now we saw the situation when the stimulus checks, so-called stimulus checks were, were distributed. They were given only to those who were paying taxes with social security number. If you were paying taxes some other way, for example, with tax ID number, you did not qualify for stimulus check. So work, even though you were paying taxes. So work permit is very important. And of course, an asylum seeker uh, in the United States, asylum it, it can take years, literally years to come. And um, if you cannot legally work, you basically will not be able to support yourself or your family here. And by itself, it's almost like a, a denial of an opportunity to, to seek asylum, right? If you cannot support yourself, you have to live in the streets without any means to support yourself. Um, 
that that's by itself almost like a bar to asylum if you if you you may be aware that each country has its own rules as to which benefits are given to asylum seekers and asylum uh, beneficiaries at which point some countries give you uh, benefits starting from the point when you file for asylum and some countries like the united states the uh, there is no real help apart from the work permit uh, while you're waiting for your interview. But so let's talk about the rules, what they're proposing. So the rule are going to go into effect starting October 25th, I'm sorry, starting uh, August 25th, 2020. It will apply to renewals, renewals of the work permits filed on or after that day. And this is who is going to affect those people who by, uh, by August 25th did not accumulate 150 days in their wait time. Now will have to wait for 365 days before they qualify for the work permit. It means that anyone who filed the application prior to the rules were even published on or after March 28, 2020, which is 150 days before the effective day of the new rule, will be affected by this new proposal that they will not qualify for the work permit until one year passes from the time they filed their asylum application. Very, very important. Okay, so you filed your application on or after March 28th, that's what your receipt says. Let's say it was in April. Now you will you discover you cannot get your work permit until the next year, until 365 days pass from the time you filed your application. Now, the next point that will affect those who are filing for renewals of work permits let's say you're waiting for your work permit for a long uh, for your asylum interview for a long time you've been receiving work permits before now you have to refile and you're refiling you're submitting your application on or after august 25 2020 if you cause any delay in adjudication of your application they will not give you a work permit until the delay is resolved. When the delay is resolved, we have no idea because they say that a delay is, for example, a request to amend the pending application for asylum or to, supp or to supplement such an application. An applicant's failure to appear to receive and acknowledge and acknowledge receipt of the decision following the interview. Well, that's something that's in your control, right? Or usually you should be able to come in and get your application, uh, get your decision. So if you, what they're talking about here is that if you had an interview and you were told to come back um, within two weeks or whatever to pick up your decision, you didn't show up, you will not get your work permit now, okay? If you submitted additional documents, evidence, documentary evidence, fewer than 14 calendar days before the asylum interview or uh, a request for an extension to submit additional evidence. So now, if you submit your evidence too early, before you know the date of the interview, you apparently can cause a delay in the application of your um of your asylum application, right? In adjudication of your asylum application. For example, I'm thinking some people get married. So technically when they change that uh, information about themselves, they supplement their, um, their uh, asylum form. If they would like to add extra evidence uh, before they know their interview date, they may be supplementing or amending their application and they may cause the delays that stop their work permit, right? So that's, that's, I guess, where we're going. So this particular change is going to affect renewals and new 
applications for work permits that are going to be filed on or after um, August 25, 2020. Also, criminal convictions, certain criminal offenses, if they occur on or after August 25, 2020, they may disqualify a person from receiving asylum. And I'm sorry, from receiving the work permit. And if uh, the offense is an aggravated felony, it doesn't matter when it occurred, it will disqualify one from a, from a work permit for asylum. So those are four, four applications. Those are the changes, major changes for the applications that are already pending. Those asylum applicants who already have pending applications and who are filing for renewals of the uh, work permits or those who will be filing for the first time for their work permits on or after this uh, uh, August 25th date. If you enter the United States without inspection after August 25th effective date, you will also not qualify for work permit unless certain very narrowly construed exceptions apply. You have to appear before the officer, DHS officer or agent and file for asylum within like 48 hours of your entry. But this provision applies only to those who are going to be entering after August 25th, 2020. And finally, one of the most important provisions is for those who uh, filed a uh, filing their asylum applications after the one year deadline. You know that there is a very strict rule for filing deadline in the United States. You have to submit your application within one year of entry. But if you uh, do it later, there is there are exceptions that you can use to kind of re renew your term, right? If you do it later. But new, the new rule says that until that exception is recognized by the government, until an asylum officer agrees that that exception applies to you, or an immigration judge agrees that that exception applies to you, you will not get a work permit. You will not qualify for the work permit. All right. So uh, the problem is, of course, if you're waiting for a long time to see that officer, or the officer says, you know what, I don't think your uh, reasons are convincing and I'm going to be referring you to court. And it takes several uh, years for the judge to finally see you in court uh, for the individual hearing, because this issue is usually resolved at the individual hearing only. If you qualified for one year deadline or not, then you will not get work permit while you are waiting for your asylum claim to be resolved at all and that's the situation that the new rules are outlining for us okay so if you have an opportunity to file for your work um, permit before august 25 2020 if that work permit is based on pending asylum do that 180 days in advance you can file do that so these rules are not going to apply to you bad news for those who are filing the applications on or after march 28 2020 because apparently they will have to wait now for a whole year before they will be able to file for work permit okay so that's that's in my perspective as a very unfair application of the rule because um, the rule should apply uh, based on the time when the person filed for asylum. If I'm filing for asylum prior to August 25, 2020, then the work permit rules that are relevant on that day should be applied to me and should not be applied retroactively. We'll see. Maybe USCIS will admit that that's how it should be this time. Maybe there will be a lawsuit, maybe not. But this is where we stand right now. If you can file for your work permit renewal or initial work permit now before August 25, 2020, you should do that. 
Remember about the delays, I think it's one of the trickiest provisions that will be applied even to renewals of the work permits, meaning that you're here for five years waiting for your asylum interview, decide to work up your case and send your evidence earlier before you know your interview date. Guess what? You just caused a delay and um, your work permit may be stopped from coming. And remember, they also, as I mentioned before in my videos, they also eliminated the uh, necessity of adjudicating, deciding the work permits within 30 days of requesting. So these are very, very important changes. Uh, thank you for joining me, guys. I wish I had some better news, but this is where we um, stand with uh, work permits for asylum seekers as of now and i will always update you if there are new if there is new information on how this new rules should be explained how they should be construed and applied thank you for joining like share and uh hope to see you soon